1065 on the back of the speedo 1065 so that gives you another idea you know you saw on the chassis 1165 so all the components in and around the end of 65 do you like this one can you see yourself sitting up here in the back seat when we go for a run hey eh? when we go dubbing huh? <laughs> yeah <laughs> you... hi guys welcome back so this video I'm gonna go around and like I said I'm gonna we're gonna have a look uh, a little deeper um, as regards this 66 and um, what makes it a 66 yeah um, I know there's a lot of people wonder about um, whether their Beetle is a 66 or because you can change you know the pan and the chassis etc um, so this video I'm going to go around and we're going to look at stuff that's specific to the 66 that makes it a 66 or that would indicate that it is a 66. Um, there was a lot of changes from 65 to 66 models and the 66 brought in those changes. Um, remembering that it's from August 65 to August 66 is the 66 model. So the 65 model would be August 64 to August 65. So it goes from August to August. Um, and then there would, you know, there's, there has been crossover situations, etc. But um, there is some distinguishing features um, from a 65 model onto a 66 model and that are the same in the 67, but the 67 is a complete separate year altogether again because there was a whole heap of other new stuff um, brought in around that time but this video is specifically what is 66 model okay so if all your numbers are are, are saying um, it's a 66 model of course it's a 66 model but like I said um, people have bought beetles with you know on different chassis etc bodies and chassis and I know that there's a lot of people ask about uh, different areas of their bug you know that would be you know contradictive to what they're believing or what they'd like to believe or what they think they have so hopefully this video will um, help in identifying whether you actually got a 66 or not um, hope you enjoy please like share subscribe all the usual good stuff and thanks for your time Cheers lads. Okay guys, so the first thing um, I should start off with the last thing I suppose is the last thing that VW produced in, in 66 was the sloped headlight. After 66 that was no longer a feature. So that was the end of like the Porsche style um, headlight which of course is a really beautiful headlight you know um, probably my favorite headlight shape you know is the slanted sloped headlight but that is a feature and that finished up a beautiful shape finished up in 66 so that's an indicator that it's a 66 right a 67 will not have that type of headlight sloped yeah uh, second difference is the wheel cap, the wheel hub cap, okay? Um, so here we have three little three little notches. You'll see it there, a little nipple type of thing. That's the second one, and there's the third one. So there's three of those. And what you have there is a flat cap, okay? So that was the introduction of the flat style um, hub cap right um, some say the older ones well they, they were you know the older one was a dome so it was a round dome type and in 66 the flat the flat um, hub cap came into being um, was easily dented if you're trying to put it on you know it can get dented because it you know you have to put it in like the clips were gone at this stage then that was the end of the clips right that's what you would have had there clips and a dome 
right? The dome would um, it would be more solid, you know, structural integrity would have been there. Um, and a little bit off course, talking about structural integrity, um, I did say we were going to get into this more. So I have a sneaky feeling, guys, that in the last week since I brought this home, this has been getting wider, right? <laughs> right? Uh, as you can see, as we go up along, that's about right. And uh, as we go down, it's getting wider. Now, hopefully your 66 hasn't got a feature like that, right? That's just a little bit off course at the moment, off track. But I just thought I'd mention that, you know, because I did say that this video would be um, detailing this car a bit more. Now, here's uh, what's so the headlight. The wheel hub cap and now the door handles I read right that the door handles are stainless steel and these are stainless steel this is specific to 66 stainless steel door handles right they're not solid all the way through right they're wrapped and they meet in here right in the middle the opposite to here look Right at the back, they meet in there, so there's a seam in there, runs all the ways along. I'm concerned about this, guys, and I would really appreciate if you could put it in the comments. If you own a 66, please respond. Right, just this is not about clicks or anything like that. Uh, I want to confirm is the 66 door handle is this a genuine one? I've read that they're a stainless steel one. Well, this is stainless steel, right. <laughs> I know my, my steels, this is a stainless steel door handle and it has a seam in at the back. In there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a seam in there at the back and it runs all the ways along. I'll try from the other side. Um, I have not seen door handles, you know, like this in the past. There's a little seam, I don't know if you can see it there now, right? Hopefully you can see that. So guys, the door handle, yeah. They came with a square button, okay? So that's a 66. The 67 is round, yeah? Um, and the 65 didn't have this as far as, you know. So that's something that I'm really interested in finding out, guys. Um, here in Ireland, we didn't have the openers maybe you could have you know asked for those specifically but um i'm sorry about the wind guys i'm trying to stay in the shade as much as i can um on this one it has the wide beading right i'm not going to say that that's a 66 only feature um the trim i'm not going to say that because i really don't i know that the 67 um is a skinnier trim on there and this is a wide bead so maybe someone could confirm that as well um, we covered the hubcaps moving around you'll have an F code engine for a 66 yeah F code so that's the engine in there it's a 1300 and what you also have in 66 is it's the last of this like uh, teardrop type deck lid it, the 67 cuts across here roughly so it's it doesn't come down like this uh, also the housing the light housing is smaller on here it's smaller on the 66 okay um, a 67 runs out here it's wider so there's, and this 1300 badge is specific to 66. Um, in around the engine, it's a single port engine. So that's a good indicator. Um, apparently they can be, you can get, you know, bigger pistons and heads. And you can take them up to 1641 without any crank or cam work or anything like that. So, you know, yeah, there's lots of meat in the 1300. I haven't driven it obviously look at it um i only got it last week guys i'm trying to shelter the wind here but yeah um 
window sizes are the same I think um, if anybody in Australia has this cut here look right this cut right would like to send that on to me either side that's something I'm gonna to have to get to make it original I'm gonna try and keep this as original as possible um, there's lots to do as regards the work that's involved um, where are we going from here I think we could come up along this side and there wouldn't be anything different from the other side I think it has the mirror on the right hand side because this is right hand drive so it would have one mirror that's it it doesn't have one on the other side it just has the one mirror that's how they would have come um, driver side so if you're on the left again this handle is I didn't say it over but it's a single key so it's only the driver you can tell you can tell about the times now yeah it was only this side had a key yeah and I don't, haven't done this before for you either guys so if you're following along from the last video again like I said this seems to be opening more right that hinge is gone from the bottom this is not a problem to me I said I and yeah now look look <laughs> okay so right just to give you an idea of where I'm on my finger my index finger I've been accused of having big hands so you know does two in does two does 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 the drop that's that's like a, a two inch drop guys but it does help here look at closing now <laughs> that's me being sarcastic again look at that see so structural integrity um, this is how it's come right okay so inside you had the chrome strip here running along and on the passenger side guys it came with an armrest for the passenger now this is specific again with the chrome strip running through this is specific to the 66 okay um, what else have we got this is a feature here right the air vent for the windscreen it had the usual one on each corner of the windscreen but now it was introduced as in the center of the windscreen there was a Todd air vent okay so the next um, change that was that came about in 66 was this guy here a four-way switch here at the steering column yeah so you had your indicators right and left and you also had a push forward and pull back for high beam and low beam that's a feature that came in in the 66 model so there's another identifier for you it no longer had let me just come down here it no longer had you see the pedals and you see there's an area over there that would have been your foot switch so on a 65 model that would have been your foot switch there would have been a little a button switch that you press with your foot you know for oncoming traffic or in town driving you would press the button down there that little circled area with the two holes that's where that little um, switch would have been if it was left hand drive um, I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think that would be it over in the corner yeah so um, yeah again if anybody has one of these this is turning out to be like a begging video honestly but yeah look Look how that was repaired and botched okay so I haven't really oh I haven't really got into this car guys but look yeah so there's a piece of it there at the back um, like I said this is um, a feature that came in 66 so no longer did it have the switch on the floor for heads and dims and while we're in here guys I suppose um yeah the previous caretaker welded in this reinforcement piece with an adjustment piece 
right so we can see look that's the bottom of the a post there and you would have that little cover so that's what our floor looks like guys um, in flittles <laughs> there's our seat track I can take it off now there's just one little spot weld holding it if that's what you'd call it but do you know what guys yeah okay so that came off pretty easy if all of it if it continues to be like that won't it be a great restoration hmm yeah, so that'll have to be copied and made, I'm sure. Right. Um, yeah. Look at this line. This brake line there on the outside. Runs back. Look at how perfect it is here. Amazing, isn't it, how, how cars, you know, Certain places they just go crazy, don't they? I mean, there was obviously a leak in that line then, and uh, so if we cross over here just while we were in it, I did say that I would. I'm killing two buds with one stone here, guys, but there's the um, heater channel. It's in a bad way, yeah? Again, there's a bracing there, and there's about four inches of a gap. Again, that bottom hole on the A post. So, right, the seats are just kind of thrown in here at the minute. Um, the headlining isn't too bad. Um, and the seats are okay, you know, they're going to clean up really nice. Um, whatever colour that is, I mean, what you have here is the, the frame colour. So you have a good, we, we have colour correction going on here at the minute. So that's, there's a close up of color we're looking at for the frames original color um, your family needs you wear your seat belt the door card now look at that's nice isn't it so we don't have any mice or rats too bloody wet and cold <laughs> okay and then it's like you know, a real touch of the 70s there, seat belts, saves lives every day. Thanks for your help. Hibernian Insurance. <laughs> that was probably the only insurer in Ireland one time. Mm. We don't want to break anything. No shamrock on that glass. <laughs> it's not glass, it's mirror. Ah. Uh, yeah, these are all seized up, so I'm not going to even, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to damage anything. It's really important to be very gentle with everything. Um, the back seat. I might be able to save all this stuff and, you know, bring it back. Um, there's a little hook here. And there's a rubber. If you can see that rubber, imagine that hooks on there, uh, just under one, look, didn't have two. And this parcel shelf area, I haven't really gone at it yet guys, um, that was the carpet. So that's not great. And we can, we can maybe do the valves from here, that'd be, yeah, kind of purposeful, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. Um, so, okay, so we were talking about the switch. <sighs> Interior light switch. Uh, the D on the steering wheel is broken. So I would have it had a D. Yeah. And your fuse box is there she's not bad along there she's okay down to Napoleon's hat 
and uh, and just as I don't say all VWs will have that but look 18th of the 11th 65 and this car was sold in January 66 right so uh, it's a real shame isn't it I mean it's funny how you can have like a shiny piece like that right and then and then that um battery tray cables Ooh. yep you get your rubber seal uh, at least this is it right see here you have from here up to the top okay and that's a critical dimension in itself you know so you, you know you got to be mind everything like that and make sure that you know it just doesn't get ripped off and because then you're without the dimensions the exact dimensions so you have two up you know you have two chances at that um, you have this side and if you you know if you cut it off and or whatever and then you have the other side and if you like you may have the other side yeah um i haven't opened the other side door yet but anyway uh what else can i say guys hey the door bottoms yeah always check your door bottoms and that's some kind of an old tub a sweet tub i'll pull it out yeah, that probably holds up the window, isn't it? It was an old trick with a piece of wood or whatever you could have. Whatever you could get, fit it and put it in there to keep the window closed. Um, what else? Distinguishing features. What did I forget? Um, after this also, guys, was the end of the ivory knobs. Yeah, after 66, it was the black rubber was introduced. And you know um, so I think varying colors as regards the gear knob etc um, depending on the color of the car I think I think that's it I think we're getting close to all the changes now that had been made um, again the ignition okay the ignition guys was dash mounted and in 67 um, it would have been here as far as I know okay so that's another difference I think 66 was the last time they had on the dash so that's it guys that's that's um, a deeper and closer look at the originals on a 66 That's our reinforcement at the minute. Hey Bust, do you like this one? Can you see yourself sitting up here in the back seat when we go for a run? Hey? When we go dubbing? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't really come in, can you? Hey? No. No. Okay. So there's only one more thing to say on this one guys. Um just spin you around. There's only one thing to say guys. Um I suppose it's 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 nineteen sixty six and the last thing I would say was that nineteen sixty six was the last year of the six volt system so everything under the hood i'll show you in a minute the electrics and all it's like everything was six volt in the engine you have your your dynamo and regulator etc um, it was all six volt and um, that's pretty much horror i think i think if you have all those features 
you've got yourself a 66 yeah and um, and best wishes with it yeah um, there's a lot of work on this one um, and you'll see me go through it and rectify some of the issues I'm going to try and keep it as original as possible that's the plan um, obviously the hey Buster I'm trying to shoot a video here eh um, yeah um, I'll try and keep it as original as possible yeah so I, I did in the last video last week I, sh I, I showed you that um, because this was assembled in Ireland um, so it's specific to the Irish market um, it's got shamrock glass so on all the glass all around it's got it's stamped with a little shamrock so your 66 unless it's an Irish 66 it won't have that feature <laughs> hey? but yeah so I'll just show you under the hood and I'll close it there guys because it's a really windy day and yeah I've got to get this car covered up again before it rains I'm just trying to hold it as you know as much as possible until I actually get at it so um, I can show you under under the hood now and I think you've seen all of this car pretty much I have other cars that I should introduce you to but um, there's so much going on with the garage upgrade and everything involved in that um, it's like yeah I, I, I'm a bit like post a pillar at the minute um, and until the garage is sorted um, so maybe for the future um, uh, next video is coming up I would think what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of going back on the bay restoration and getting rid of the bay get it done and then uh, I've got a Vanagon that it needs doing so the T25 Vanagon stroke Vanagon will be back in um, and I'm gonna do like I said I was gonna do um, I need to make put a dolly together and get it on wheel so that I can roll it out from the shed that's in and get it into the, the new space in the garage new lift new space new bench hopefully um, and then we're going to shoot through and these restorations are going to kind of yeah I'm just sticking with it then you know I'm looking forward to it you know actually looking forward to it which isn't something that we do you know things can but yeah I mean even a tidy up a real tidy up in, in the work area can actually you know um, get you going so if you haven't and if you've left your your um, your bog or your gear um, sitting and you haven't gone out go out and just have a tidy up around it that's you know you'll be amazed at what that'll do you know especially if you have places for stuff I'm rambling on now but if you have a, something you pick something up and you put it in a, a place if you have a place for stuff it helps you know um, if you're continually going around uh, looking for stuff that's off-putting and yeah um, I think uh, a tidy area is essential because the busier we are the less tidy it gets and it's and then it's kind of overwhelming and you have to start with a huge big so yeah I would say if, if, to get you motivated to get out in your shed and do stuff get a routine whereby you put stuff in a place that's a great you know uh, you know exactly you can put your hand on stuff within seconds and that makes life so much easier yeah uh, you only learn this through years and years of drudgery and that kind of thing but yeah it helps so get out in your workshop I'll close with the other footage but get out in your workshop and give it a tidy up and 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 and, and be motivated that way just to tidy up your workshop and say okay well and then and take it from there that's what I'm doing you know I'm working on the workshop making it a nicer place to be and when the winter comes I'll be able to hopefully I'll be able to stay out there because I'm doing a bit of insulating as well as you would have seen in the videos if you've watched them but um, so I'm gonna say ciao because when I go out there it's windy guys and yeah um, you won't hear a word and there's nothing worse than poor quality sound nothing worse whatever about the visuals visuals are beautiful I know but whatever about the visuals if you can't hear someone yeah to me it's a killer I, I can't watch videos and now and now it's beautiful isn't that well it's not beautiful but okay so so now guys I'm gonna try and close this door this is actually getting worse by the minute okay look yeah 
But like I said, <laughs> yeah, the gap is closed. No, that's. I need to get her covered up, guys, and right. There's that wind I was telling you about. So here we go. Look. Ugh. So yeah, spare wheel well is gone out of it. Okay, which is okay, you know. I'll get it from the from the tag downwards and around. Not a problem. I'll hope to get that cut. Um, there might be some people watching this video that could actually help in that area. But there you go, guys. Look, the wiring is really good. And I can see from here, 1065 on the back of the speedo. 1065. So that gives you another idea. You know, you saw on the chassis 11, 65 so all the components in and around the end of 65 i have a wiper motor that's a huge um accomplishment you know to get bits like that so yeah um i don't know if you can see that or not but yeah six volt and that was the end of them guys Ah, you can see the big 965 as well 965 and then 1065 it's stamped right so the 965 I just saw that now the 965 and then you have an actual blue stamp 1065 so maybe the clock was actually manufactured in 965 and the blue stamp might have been that's when it was fitted to the car you know I'm not sure I don't know and it's just you know there's two dates on the clock one is in the little blue stamp and the other one is above it 12 o'clock 965 um yeah the the mounts for the for the door springs or the hood the bonnet springs yeah they're shot yeah but um it's not bad under here right so and she's 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 good you know She's good in places, yeah? We'll get her. We'll get her. So, uh, and that's the kind of, yeah, H panel. So that's a little bit crispy. But yeah. So there you have it, guys. I'm gonna close out on that one. Um, like, share, subscribe, please. And, we continue on with the next feed. Thanks for watching, guys. There, guys, that's the last time. That's the last time this one was on the road. Yeah? There's a tax disc there, road tax disc. And it's like 590. So, uh, May, January, February, March, April, May. So it's 32 years since it was on the road.